Welcome to hour number three. Ah. I spent some time in the park today, so I'm sunburned. Oh, who am I going to sing about? Maybe I'll sing about you, whoever you are. Oh, you. You're my favorite thing in the whole damn world because you're listening and you're worth mentioning to. Hey, you. You're the favorite person in the room when I'm here because you're my favorite, dearest you. All I ever want to hear is loving words from you, and you give them every time, oh my, my, I think I'm so happy I could die with you, since you're my favorite person in the room, and I'm in the room, that means that you are so loved. I would never give up on you, even if you were failing day after day. I'd say we'll find a way, though, don't give up. We're gonna find a way, though, don't give up, best friend. You're my favorite beauty. Even if you get snooty with me, you're my favorite of all time in the room. I'm in the room with you. And I love you. I put nobody but myself above you, but that is only so I can help you. But I would never run away from you for myself. I'd bring you with me, explain things to you, and maybe you could help me, and maybe I could get to know you in the process, and I could help you, and stuff like that too. Oh, you, I love you. You never really give up on me either. Together we're so much sweeter than apart. And I love your moods, even when you don't want to mess with me or me mess with you. I said it's still okay, you're still my favorite thing in the whole world. I said I put myself above you, but only so that I can make sure that I don't fail you. She said I want. You said I want us to be on equal footing. I said okay. We're on equal footing now. Because we're our favorite people to one another. We are on equal footing now. I love you and you love me. We're a happy family, just like it was party. And I am the love dinosaur. She said, I am one as well. I said, of course you are. Just like Barney, me and Cassie. You're gonna make a happy family. Oh, wait, we already did, and just like before that shit ended really quick, didn't it? Yeah, we used to be fake parents to Ruby, but that shit's dead now. Me and Cassie weren't really parents, but we were like godparents a little bit. We were kind of like her very godparents for real. Fairly odd parents, or fairy godparents. Yes. 
is my renaissance. Every time I think of Cassie, I think of applesauce and how her pussy probably is sweeter than the sweetest of the applesauces. Said I love this cunt and she's like, it tastes like Sierra Mist. I said, I already know. She said, are you starry eyed? I said, only because my eyes got your starry pussy juice in it. She said, that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I said, I know. I said, Cassie, I love you, put nobody but myself above you, but that's only so I can be the guiding light, you're my guiding light as well. In the night, in the night, I will be the one who's shining bright for you. She said, that's ecstasy, I said, it is ecstasy when you're next to me. I would do just about anything I could do to ensure my own success so I could be there for you. She said, this is the best of the secrets. I said, Cassie, even though you're like totally stressed out these days, I don't even want to take your husband's place unless you want that. I don't want to snatch you away if you're not down with that But if you are allowing me to take the pussy I said, let's do it after you divorce She said, I don't know I said, yeah, I figured so But I still love you anyways Won't hold anything you do against you That's what love is I'ma show you what love is It's patient and kind And I just say I love looking at your smile And your waistline And that's all I need in my mind I don't really need no physical touching from Cassie Honestly, I don't I just like who you are That's why I can't ever go very far from you she said, I don't want you to go. I said, I already know when I'm in love with you. She said, please don't go. I said, I never would hurt you. Now that I know you don't want me to go. Now that I know you want me to hug you. Oh, it's so fucking sad now. Because we stopped hugging like a month ago. And I don't say shit about it cause it makes her sad and I already know She gives the saddest little hugs that I've ever got in my life It was the saddest hug of all She gives those side, one arm side hugs like Steve Hanks but even worse I was like Jesus fucking Christ She's like I know what your hug's like I don't wanna know any more about it I said, okay same here Cause I don't really like the feeling of your beating heart on me She said I don't belong to you I said I already know She said I really could get to get get used to you I was like you already did She's like fuck I did I'm like Cassie She's like just shut up and either fuck me or abandon I was like, it doesn't have to be like that, really, I can like, still be your friend, she's like, yeah, I'm like, Cassie, I'm in love with you, because you're pretty, but because you're also haunted and all, I love that and all, she's like, I know, I said, Cassie, you are kind of scary to me. She's like, I think it's sexy that I scare you. I said, I kind of find it a little sexy too, you fairy ghost. She said, I'm a ghost from Virginia. Have you ever been? Yeah. I said, I don't think I've really been to Virginia for anything. She's like, oh, okay. She's like, is your name Ellis? I said, yes, it is. She said, I'm going to call you Hun now. I was like, okay. She said, hey, Hun, what you need? I was like, that pussy probably. She's like, I already know. I wrapped it up for you. Matter of fact, I cut a little hole in my panties just for you, and you can fuck me through them. I said, okay. She said, the pussy juice made him so wet I had to throw him off. I said, I understand. 
She said the hole got torn in two. I said, just like my heart when I met you. She said, oh, Lord. I tore her panties into two pieces because there was a hole in them already and I ripped it open. She was like, just like your heart when you met me. I said, basically, girl. I said, Cassie, don't you know that I am the only man for you? Never mind the times I've tried to make you mine. Every time he said, have patience. He said, I have patience now, because I realize that everything is cool now, and you're awesome. I realize that the only enemy is my own mind, and it hypnotizes me into trying to kill my mind, but I need to accept my mind. Wow. She said, you can't kill your mind. I said, no, I sure can't. She said, do you want to fuck me in behind? I said, from behind, of course. She said, fuck my behind from behind. I said, okay. Double fuck, double fuck. I'm up in her butt. And I'm also, like, behind her butt. <laughs> Fucking her from behind and her behind, though. She said I didn't mind, but his dick really hurt my butt. I said, I'll go slow. She said, you already know that I won't come unless you fuck me hard. I said, you come from your butt spot? She was like, I sure fucking do when you touch on me at the same time. And I'd love to treat Cassie to some tantric kinky sex shit. Since I like to take my time and I've waited so long, I said, I'd love to take my time with Cassie's pussy and her bean. And her booty, and her titties, and her sexy thighs, and her waistline, and her little fatty arms. I said, hold on to me with those. She said, I'm fucking him slow, cause I'm holding on him, and it doesn't feel like a ghost at all. He's been working out, and making me proud, and gaining pounds. I said, now I don't even feel fat when I'm with him. Cause he like got a double chin again He got it in Now we have a baby yeah. I said congratulations She said you're the father I said cool I said congratulations She said you're the father I said wow this is cool Cassie's like I was like Do you wanna make a baby tonight? Cassie's like, yes. Ellis is like, okay. And we both made a baby together by nutting inside of her. She was like, is that all it takes? I said, yeah, just put my nuts in your butt. She's like, that all it takes? I said, I nutted so I'm gonna find out. See. She's like, I really hope the seed takes. I said, are you ready for it? She said, I think so. I said, do you trust me with your life? She said, I think I already know. I said, yes. Oh, I can see your halo. We're gonna go to heaven together, Cassie. She's like, my husband's crazy. I said, oops. She said, you probably shouldn't try to steal me away from him. I'm like... I say to that she's like you probably should keep a distance from that crazy man I said who's crazier though she said are you really strapped I said we're gonna fucking show out either way baby I don't think he's crazy enough to try to kill me but if he does I'll blow his fucking head off with a gun she said you couldn't shoot him in the leg I said fuck no, I had to blow off his dome. She said you couldn't just like prip on one bit. I said, fuck no, fucking you slow now over his dead body. Just like you wanted me to get naughty and fuck you in your bedroom with him. Looking from a picture frame, probably. I'm like, what the fuck, Cassie? 
She's like, I wanted you like I didn't even know until now. Yeah. She's like, your shoulders spin. I said, I already know. I'm in titty mode. She said, the shoulder is spinning. You crushed my boobs. I said, oopie doopie. She said, a titty mode. I said, I already know. What I like is I sound like Lil Peep now, but I'm not a fucking douchebag with face tats. You guys realize that? I'm like ex Tacion and Lil Peep and Juice WRLD without all the stupid tats. Tats are stupid. I'm sorry. The body is so fucking beautiful by itself. How the fuck you need to ruin it with a bunch of markings? Straight up. Stocking tattoos are stupid. Unless you don't like the way you look. Thank you.